Random or Berkey is the new character in the latest Vampire Survivors update and now that the version is soon going live, I thought it would be nice to understand how the character works and trust me it's, it's quite confusing, okay. I have a lot of experience in this game and in the game code and if I get confused by something that's going on then it's something that is not easily explainable or understandable. And I think it's good to understand this since I will make more videos on it and maybe it's just nice to know it overall. So I don't want to scare you away but this is what we'll get into later. Well, okay, it's already gone, it, it can't hurt you anymore. Don't worry about it, we will get there once you understood more about how this works. So first of all let's take a look at the code of Vampire Survivors. You do not need to understand what's going on here. I don't really understand it because before Vampire Survivors I had zero idea of JavaScript, I still don't understand most of the stuff that's going on and the best that I can do is logical deduction, like if something does this and then it's called and this happens then yeah makes sense right. And also I know C sharp so that helps me to understand a little bit more but it's it's very different <laughs> so it's like um, uh, yeah. All in all this does something at level 1. It, it reads make level 1 which sounds weird but it makes sense because it's about the character Aaron Jesus. Yes this is a name in the code that is a random character love the name. So his level 1 is made here. Down here we can see a couple of variables, they get filled with the value of 1 and while we don't care about what they mean or what they really do right now, the important part is, down here are 8 different cases from 0 to 7. 0 does nothing at all and the other cases all override 2 variables, one with the value 1.5, one with the value 0.5. The important part here is my assumption is that this only happens once and after testing I'm pretty sure that's the case. So up here it sets them all to 1 and down here it chooses two of them, sets one to 1.5 and the other one to 0.5. Why does this matter? Because it's the multiplicator that happens at the very end here. So let's say we are at case 6 right now and we have the multiplicator here, the variable is not mentioned in here, in this case 6 over here, that means it will just stay at a 1 and nothing else happens. Now if we were at case 7 then it would change it to a 1.5 and this value up here, whatever this is, we don't know it yet, would be increased by 50%. Let's breathe in. Let's breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Pretty much so far everything that we learned about the character is just that sometimes some of the stats are increased more and sometimes they are increased less. Now let's go back to the code. How do you actually do anything here, right? Because this is really weird and you have to figure out what they mean. Uh, well, yeah, let's do that. So one thing that we can see here is on every level up. That means that this character gains these stats on every single level up. <laughs> I mean, you know, listen to the specialist there, you know, <laughs> he knows it. Remember how confused I was about the stat increases of the character and that they made zero sense at all? Yeah, that's because every single stat is calculated. Like when you get into the game at level 1, all of these stats get individual values and this is why they differed so much. Like for example greed might be 0.3% per level up and then you have growth which is 0.4% per level up. So eventually they will differ. But back to the code, if you see something like this, all of these are on every level up. These are the same, these are the same. So what you can do is you can just copy this and you can go in here and then you would replace them with each other, replace all, bam. A lot easier to read. Now for these ones here and for these ones here you can see they differ. You just have to search with them through the code and see if you get a result. I will just do one example because we actually don't care about doing this right now, I prepared it already. But just for one example to show how this is done. You search for the value and you tick the match whole word only, I I'm sorry this is probably very small. Since we don't care about 0x, 25b, a, b, c, d, we only care about specifically this one. We go for find all current and then you get a lot of text down here which is a ton of gibberish but one thing that sticks out to me is always stuff that is written in proper English. Like not stuff like this but we have seen a might. So this is for might 
the curve that for example Mina has, where might constantly goes up and then it goes down. It goes up, it goes down, okay? So what I would do here is I would just go in here and I would just replace it with Sina might. And that way I can identify what they mean and instead of just continuing here, let's just jump over to the soul file. And here's the file with everything solved. As I said, there is the Xena speed twice in here, but again, I might have just made a mistake. Though I check carefully and I don't know what's going on. Since they are all comma separated, you can actually call these individual values out here and maybe do a check which one is lower, which one is higher or something like this. But it's a little bit weird since I calculate it in the same way. <laughs> like if I wanted to make sure that I get a lower value, I would just like multiply it with less, but it's fine. I think now it's a little bit more understandable what's going on. These are the on every level up values for HP, region, armor, amount, whatever. Now I think before I just explain what these all do, because who cares, I will make one example to calculate the max HP on every level up with a made up value out of these random functions. The random function, all you need to know, it's a random float number, so a comma value, that ranges from 0 to 1. There's no 2, there's no negative values, it's just 0 to 1. Another thing that is good to understand is that, for example, something like power or cooldown or area, given that they are in percentages, they are multiplied with 100. So if the result out of here is 0 0.01, like the final result, then this means every level up you get 1%. While for other values like max HP, region, armor, Whatever value comes out of here is what you get every level up. The stat screen also shows it for most of them, so that's fine. So in the beginning of HP, we have a multiplicator of 1, since that does nothing, we don't care about it. Then we have a random value from 0 to 1. We will just go for the max value here, just for fun, and we roll a 1. Incredibly unlikely, but let's just pretend it happened. Now, whatever comes out of this random function, in our case the 1, we remove 0 0.025. And we can actually already determine what is the upper and the lower bound that we can get out of the random. Like if the 1 is the highest and 0 is the lowest, and then we just calculate both of these, then we have negative 0 0.025, and at the top here we have the opposite 0 0.975. Just to quickly confirm this, if we add them together we get a 1, and 1 is the maximum value. Now the last thing that has to happen is the multiplicator at the far end. And by a quick check we can see that in case 1 it would be a 0.5, in case 7 it would be a 1.5, and in all other cases it would just be a 1. So if you want to calculate again the upper and the lower bounds, we would just multiply both of these by 1.5, and obviously, if the result here would be positive, we would choose 0.5 since it decreases the value, while the 1.5 makes it go higher. Just for an example what I mean here, if we have this over here, then we go only to negative 0.0125, which is more positive than this value here, and that's bad if you want to know the lower bound. But here you can see this is the range that we are moving in for the on every level up stat for the character. At the highest it could be 1.46, at the lowest you would lose 0.03 HP. Now that the easy part is done, we will head over to the Excel sheet. Okay, I just quickly waited because some of you might want to joke about how this was supposed to be the easy part. And there we go. Okay, there's a lot to take in, but we don't actually have to care about most of this, okay. What I did in the beginning here is I just wrote down all the values, the multiplicator, the offset that happens later on, the minimum value, the maximum value that we can expect out of them. Huh? Huh? Remember these two values? Yeah, they're exactly them. Then they get multiplied with the multiplier. Here it's a 1, so it doesn't change anything. Over here we have the two scenarios of 0.5 and 1.5. We don't have to write down the 1 because that's just the middle of both of them. And then la di da, some magic happens, probably also a couple of mistakes, but we get an average value for whenever we have a 0.5 multiplier, as well as a 1.5 multiplier. An average value is usually not that, that great to calculate this, but we can make predictions what values we will have on certain level ups. So if we for example take luck, and then we go over, it's this line, let me actually just highlight it, there we go. And we go to level 50, 
then we can see the average outcome at 0.5. This one here, the first one is 0.5, is 10%. The average outcome at 1 is 20%. And the average outcome at max is 30%. And I think this is the really interesting part where you can understand how most of these stats scale. In fact, I just copied over whatever they are. And for example, Magnet is just decreasing on average, while Speed is at a 30% on average if you have the 1.5. I guess it would be more reasonable to go for the middle column. So let's take these ones. HP tends to always go up, Regeneration tends to stay at zero. But all in all, it's very important to know that these are of course just averages. And even on something like the HP, where we have seen that the chance of getting negative values is incredibly low, I actually ended up having one test run, but like out of 50, so it's not like it was common, that went down to 98 HP from the starting 100. Okay, but how does this now help us in any way? Well, all in all, this is the point where it ends if you just wanted to understand what the character does on average. And then down here, I listed all the cases that happen in the game. Uh, there's actually one more where everything just stays at one, but I didn't write that down because nothing changes. And this is where things become interesting. Like, let's say, for example, we check our current game. And we notice that our luck went up by an incredible amount, and we check over here there's only one luck with 1.5. Now if we determine that this is beyond the 1 multiplier, like the highest value of the 1 multiplier, but the value that we have is beyond that, then we already know this means we have the 1.5 multiplier in luck and nothing else is adjusted. So let's make an example where we try to identify a run. And I hope it's not too complicated. Here's a video where I was level 47. That means I had 46 level ups. Our luck currently at that moment is 64%, but because it's played on hyper mode, we get a free 10%, so in reality, we went up by 54%. The character has no power up bonuses from gold. As you can see, this is the character that we had seen in the very beginning, who had 400% growth, and 500 banishes. So let's just quickly write down the value that we just saw, 54%. Now to test limits, you obviously want to take the upper limit because we know if, for example, we exceed the best case scenario for 0.5 multiplier, then it can't be 0.5, it must be higher. And in this case, we will just go for the mult max. So this is just the multiplier in the very beginning, with the random values for the best outcome. And in that case, the result is a 0.009, or in other words, 0.9%, since percent is just the decimal value multiplied with 100. So just to understand what I took here, if the game had a multiplier 1, so not 0.5 or not 1.5, then the character would gain 0.9% luck if you reach the highest value there, like if you had a 1 in the random 0 to 1 roll. For us this is important because if we exceed this value, then we know already the multiplier is a 1.5. So I copied over the value, this is the value that we want to reach, and all we have to do is take our, it was 47 level ups? No, 46 level ups that we had, 46 times this value, and then I will just time it 104%, 41.4%. So in other words, even in the best case scenario with a one time multiplier, the highest value the character could get is 41.4%. Now we can also do the same for a 1.5. So we take 1.5 times this value, the highest with a 1.5 times multiplier would be 62.1%. This also means if we are in between these two values, then we know we have a 1.5 multiplier. And I guess 54% is between these two, and that means we can go back to our cases, and now we can check how many of these have a 1.5 in here, and it's only one of them. And by that we know that the rest of the values has a 1 multiplier. How about we just take a look at the entire thing in the game, because I think that's more entertaining than listening to me all day long talking about Excel and code. I changed the multiplier, so nothing how it gets determined which case is the case or anything else. 
to a 500 instead of being a 0.5 or a 1.5. That means we will have an incredible change and that will make it very easy to identify what's going on. So on our very first level up we got an insane amount of luck and curse. Now all we had to do is go back here and check what got changed. These were the two luck and curse meaning the case 5 is right now the case. All the other stats got changed slightly, or most of them, but none of these got changed as severely as luck and curse. Here we can see the next one, and the one that got changed is curse. Oh, there's no other one. Wait, 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 there was one that was only curse, I'm pretty sure. Curse? Yeah, this one here. So in this run, we would have had the case 2, where curse is turned down to 0.5, but whatever the last value here is for the Sinus curves is increased to 1.5. And this time we have Max Health, Might, and Area. Now, this is an interesting one because three stats are affected. Let's go back to the Excel sheet. Oh, it also looks like Duration is affected, right? Area, Duration, Might, and Max Health. Okay. So, these four are affected. And we can see that this is Case 1, most likely, because here too many other things are changed. Let's take a look at Region right now. Uh, yeah, oh, region is up a lot. Oh my god. Wait, let me get another level up. So we were at 1. This is where it gets a bit complicated because some of these values, they increase with decimals. Like, percentages are easy to see. But for example, the 138% would be a 1.38. And there we go. We can see our recovery went up by quite a lot. Hold on. Our armor as well. Oh, look at our amount and revival. Okay, now I know what's going on. We are actually in case 7 right now. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is how the game can sometimes trick you. I think it would be easier to just check out projectile speed and movement speed. 1% movement speed, 1% projectile speed. Cooldown should also be at a 1. Let's check it out. There's cooldown. It's at a 1. Okay, perfect. And now just a final one to show that there's only one case active. We have max HP, we have might, we have duration, area. Also looks like recovery something happened. Oh, would you look at this? Yeah, now we have the case one. Oh, this will be very negative. Yeah, okay, look at this. The recovery also keeps going down. Um, the thing is, people told me that they lost HP with negative recovery. Does this look like I'm losing HP? Not really. Okay, I think I got a good way to test if negative recovery takes away HP. Because now we have negative 50,000 recovery. Let's go into a game. Nothing happens. I think what's happened to the people is, since recovery and max HP got changed at the same time, it looked to them like they lost HP, while in reality the max HP stat went up and you only gain this as empty health. Okay. Back to past decks and hopefully not talking about nonsense anymore. Okay, before we go back to the nonsense, this is the final puzzle piece. This one is thanks to Keikos and this is the order of name that the character can have and by this we can figure out what case is active. So right now his name is Silas and if we go back to our Excel, we can see that Silas is the second last one. By the way, Aaron would be the case 0, that is the one where everything is just a 1. And if we go back to K6, then we can see Armor, Amount, Revivals, Magnet, Speed and Movement Speed should be affected. So let's go into a game, if this is also reality, let's walk up here. We can see that Speed, Movement Speed, ignore the negative 50k, Amount, Revival, Armor, oh, but not Magnet. Wait, what? Huh. Magnet stays unchanged. You see, this is why I love testing things. Because you get to learn quirks and what happens. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I guess Magnet is just entirely unaffected. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've learned something, then don't forget to subscribe. See you the next time.